from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. COVID numbers in Henrico continue to reach record highs and a state agency considers the possibility of legalizing marijuana in Virginia. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute for Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. It's brought to you today by Henrico Area Mental Health and Commonwealth Catholic Charities. And now for the news. Well, new COVID-19 cases in Henrico continue to increase at record levels. Yesterday, the Virginia Department of Health initially reported 113 new cases in the county. Today, that number jumped to 133. Add in an additional 70 cases this morning, and that's the most cases confirmed in a two-day period in the county since the pandemic began at 203. It also brought to 84 the average number of new daily cases reported in the county during the past seven days, also an all-time high. Yesterday, 12 new hospitalizations in Henrico were connected to the virus that tied the Second most on a single day, which was set back in April. The record was set the following day in April at 14. Today, just two new hospitalizations were reported in the county. But five new deaths also have been attributed to the virus in Henrico, two yesterday and three today. When case counts were increasing last week, much of that was attributed to higher testing rates, but those testing numbers are now coming back down. An average of about 1,100 tests are being conducted in the county each day during the past week. That's down from about 1,360 just a few days ago. And RICO's seven-day positivity percentage is now 5.7%. It has fluctuated in that general range for a week or two. Could legalizing marijuana in Virginia help address social disparities and inequities? That is one of the topics that the state's legislative watchdog agency is exploring in a new report examining how the Commonwealth could legalize marijuana. The Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission's report was published shortly before Governor Ralph Northam announced that he'll support legislation to legalize marijuana in the state. Earlier this year, Virginia decriminalized marijuana possession and reduced possession penalties to a $25 civil penalty with no jail time for amounts up to an ounce. Previously, possessing half an ounce could have led to a $500 fine and as many as 30 days in jail. On HenricoCitizen.com right now, you can check out an article from our partners at the Capital News Service that examines the issue and the JLARC report. Just click on News and then Government. Well, here's something to put on your calendar. The Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen will host the Joy of Illumination December 5th and 6th from 4 to 6 each day. You can take a stroll through artisan decorated trees and wreaths that are illuminated for the season. There will also be outdoor carolers and indoor dancers from Central Virginia Dance Academy. Virtual concerts by Glen Allen High School students will play on lobby monitors. And Santa will make a quick visit in the Sculpture Garden to read Twas the Night Before Christmas through a microphone with everyone socially distanced. Admission is free. Masks are required. For details, you can call 261-ARTS. U.S. Representative Abigail Spanberger's office this week announced that it had passed about $4 million in casework funds back to constituents in the district, the 7th district. That money comes from a variety of places, including backlogged benefits and constituents who are dealing with federal agencies or programs. In total, Spanberger's office closed more than 1,600 cases for residents of the district. Every 12 minutes, a Virginian dies from an opioid overdose. Every 12 minutes. Opioid overdoses are on the increase in Henrico. Yes, the opioid epidemic is still impacting residents in Henrico. But you can help. To find out what you can do, go to BounceBackHC.com. That's BounceBackHC.com. Knowledge is power, including learning about naloxin. That's naloxin, which can temporarily reverse the toxic effects of an opioid or heroin overdose. Get informed, get help, save a life. Go to BounceBackHC.com. HC.com. That's bouncebackhc.com. To equip yourself with the knowledge to help our residents and the community of Henrico County against the opioid epidemic. Knowing what to do will allow you to be prepared to save a life. 
go to bouncebackhc.com today. That's bouncebackhc.com or call 804-727-8515. That's 804-727-8515 directly for substance abuse services. This message is sponsored by Henrico Area CSB Prevention Services. Well, if you need to renew your commercial driver's license, you can now do so online. The Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles announced that earlier this week. CDL holders previously were required to visit DMV in person each time to renew their credentials, but because of COVID-19, the agency is changing course. You can visit dmvnow.com to learn more. Some who are not eligible to renew those licenses online will need to schedule appointments to renew in person. Every week on HenricoCitizen.com, we give you a sampling of reported incidents and arrests from around Henrico County. You can check out our crime report for November 20th through 25th right now on our website. Just click News and then Crime. Also today on HenricoCitizen.com, our weekly roundup of recent property transactions. You can take a look at those by clicking on News and then Property Transactions. And just a note that we at the Henrico Citizen wish you and yours a happy Thanksgiving and a relaxing one at that. We will be taking the next two days off, so check us out on the News Minute on Monday. Be sure to visit HenricoCitizen.com in between for anything breaking or developing. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Commonwealth Catholic Charities. Change the world for a teen who needs you. Become a foster parent. Learn about Commonwealth Catholic Charities' international foster care program today. Call 804-545-5949 or visit cccofva.org to learn more.